Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, you're watching the Tony Robles Predator Pro-Am Tour. We're coming to you live from Q-Bar Billiards Lounge in Bayside, Queens, New York. I'm upstate Al, flying solo for now. We got a match coming up for you, and we're officially on the way. We got Rafael De Broyo playing Lazio Kovics. We call him Lazzi here in New York City. Lazzi's getting two on the wire. We're going to seven. As both players are going to shoot a few balls on the stream table. We want to thank some of our sponsors. Well, you know what? Let's start off first of all by thanking the Q Bar here in uh, Bayside, Queens. What a beautiful room it is. Give you an idea of what the room looks like. There you go. That's a great picture of the Q Bar. We want to thank AZ Billiards, Kings of Vapor, the Tap League, Simonis, of course, live stream news on Facebook. Lakasi, Lakasi Hybrid and Custom Cues. Make sure to check them out. Just some of the sponsors on board, of course, with Tony. Gotham City Technologies, and we're about to get on the way, so we're going to watch the opening break. The gentleman at the table is not going to break right now. His name is Lotzi. I thought he was about to break the balls, so. Just give you a little more information on some of these sponsors. We got NYC Grind doing a co-production with AZBTV. They're on board. Also, one of Tony's sponsors put it a Predator Pro-Am. Master Chalk, Poisoned by Predator. Billiards Digest. Again. Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with a revolutionary X-Shox dampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only cue that matters. Okay, here we go, setting up for the first break of this match. Rafael de Bueno racking the balls, and he will be breaking. It's a race to seven. And the score right now is two to nothing. No sound on the cue bar. Well, that's, that's me. There you go, that's where we're coming to you live from the Q Bar, restaurant, billiards, and lounge. Here's the place. Raphael won the flip, and he's gonna break. He, he trails here, two to nothing, because Lotzi gets two games on the wire. Looks like they put a couple of coins on board. So that'll help us out. You can see the coin on the right if you can see it. It's up at the uh, number two spot. That's Lotzi's side and Raphael starting out right dead center. Raphael broke the balls really, really good. Lotzi coming to the table, leading two to nothing for an open rack here and a clean shot at the one ball.
You know, I remember Lotsy from years ago he used to play in the local tournaments here, and he always shot a pretty good stick. But Raphael has really stepped his game up. got a test to hear but all he has to really do is pocket this ball now he's got to watch he doesn't get he, I don't know what he's gonna try if he tries to play to the left side of the five it's no good he's gonna come in short between the six perfect and that's why Lotzi gets two on the wire gee whiz you know, he makes that. He's great on the six to get to the seven. But unfortunately, he missed the five ball. Rafael De Bueno playing. Well, both of these players actually play out of Steinway Billiards in Astoria. Uh, Rafael actually does some, you know, stick repairs there. He's got a lathe set up in the corner of the room there with... Uh, and Manny and Anna and George's room there. That's another beautiful room. Both of these rooms are gorgeous. If you get a chance, come on by. Uh, we have some visitors that came way, way down from Connecticut to support the, uh, the tour. And to meet Tony, they wanted to come down and do a meet and greet with Tony and says he's just started playing four months ago. Wow, that's a big miss. You know, this shot is definitely cuttable. But if there's any doubt, I would play safe behind the nine. Good shot. We have Eric sitting in the wings. Why don't you grab a headset and keep upstate Al company? Have, uh, and then once you get the headset set, you can push button number two over there. The red one, the one that's lit. There you go. And now you're hot, sir. Welcome aboard. Well, hello. Uh, there you go. So Lotzi taking another game after getting one on the wire. Now in the lead here. You got one on the wire or two? To he slide? got two on the wire. Two on the wire, yeah. I, I, I'm capable of making a mistake. And if, if, let me tell you something. The guy sitting in the booth that happens to be one of the best critics on earth. <laughs> Only on pronouncement of words. <laughs> <laughs> when I say Josh, he says Joss. When I say Shaw, he says Shaw. <laughs> Any case, three to nothing, Lassie's in the lead. Set the break here in game four. I'm sure everybody would love to thank you, Al, for all you do. For oh, thank putting you. on these productions and traveling all over creation, setting all this equipment up. And thank you. That's we, beyond we, dedication. We enjoy it. We enjoy getting around and coming out and seeing everybody. It's been a while. And uh, when, you, when you go into different rooms and meet different people and put faces to screen names, you know, and Facebook names and social media, whatever it might be, it's nice, you know, and, and you get to see great play. You know, I know you probably had a match coming up soon, huh? Uh, eventually, I got paired up with the with Omar Ali. We were in the finals last week, and we got okay. paired up uh, uh, on the first match this week. What's the odds on a full 64 player field? So I'm you sure somebody in the chat's going to give me the odds. <laughs> so you pair you pair it up? Yes. And the outcome? Well, no, we haven't played yet. They haven't called our match yet. Oh, oh, okay, you, you paired up here. I thought you said something about last week. You played yep. him last week. Omar and I were in the finals last week. Okay, and what happened and then? And now we're, um, well, he, he beat me in the finals last week. All right, so you got a second place? I got second place, yeah. Okay. He got first. And um, 
we paired up on the first match today. Well, that's ironic. Yes. He's got to be careful here. He hit it with a good stroke. Perfect, perfect. Watch the speed, though. He's not going to get a reward for that. Nice shot, no reward. Yeah, that was really a nice shot. Well, got a kick. I like using the bridge and kicking it off the short rail, you know, and kick the four up towards the five, or or using one rail to get it between the you know the five eight, sending it up the other table and leaving the cue somewhere behind the six. He, he could try to kick it in off the right rail and try to make the ball. He could try to kick it from behind on the sh on the other side of the six. The problem and, is, and is try to he, leave him safe. There's lots of things. Yeah, he yeah but if he here. kicks it this way and hits the bottom side of the four. Well, then he goes right in the drink or close to it. That, that's the scary thing. Uh, he almost made, he it. almost made it. You know, a guy's giving you two on the wire. You really don't want to give him a shot, right? That's why I would like to kick it up, keep it distance between the Q and the four. But nevertheless, well, it's ideally, water under the bridge. Ideally, in this game, you never want to give anybody a shot. But that's just not practical. Yeah, well, <laughs> I've seen it done. Yeah. yeah, at the upper at the upper pro level, yeah, they can they can dominate that table. Yeah. Brooklyn J says he doesn't think that it's irony, irony. He says he doesn't think it's irony, <laughs> like irony. Irony. <laughs> ironic. Well, I'll tell you what, it's pretty ironic when you get two players in this finals and all of a sudden they come to the next event and they got to match up in the opening gate. Uh, looks like Raphael's trying to take control now. You know, it all stems back to that great shot that Lotsi played on that three ball and, you know, overrunning his... Uh, he shot on the four. And then, he, you know, he tried to kick it in and wound up leaving the shot on the four. And you can't give Raphael any air. He's, uh, he plays good. Well, you know. He's rated A++. Plus plus and, uh, you know, some people will say he, uh, some people would say he doesn't even belong in this tournament. Look at that. And then he makes a mistake like that. Really? People are talking that he doesn't belong yeah, in this tournament? Yeah. Okay. I mean, he well, plays. Maybe it's time to step him, no, step no, him up? No, no, he's, he's where he belongs. A++. Plus plus. Is he? Yeah, I think so. He plays good. But, well, you know, he's, you not, know. he's not dominating the tournament. Nobody is dominating tournaments. So I think the spots are, are, are overall fair. Well, if uh, you think it's fair, okay, then uh, I accept your opinion for sure. But if, he, but if he's going through the field, has he been snapping off tournament after tournament at all? Um, I haven't really been keeping track, but I don't remember hearing about Raphael in the finals uh, since the beginning of the year. Oh, so then uh, handicap is about right then. Tony's pretty fair. They try to keep an eye on you. Lotsy takes down another game. You know, the problem with the open division, you know, the open players have to play with the pros. And, uh, you know, the open players are like in limbo land. They're too good to play in the amateur event and... Uh, you know, the, the pros uh, have them for lunch. Now, a lot of people are out of town. He, uh, I believe Jeremy Sosi is up in Albany, going to play at the Golden Q on a Josh event. Josh. You know? <laughs> um, there you go again, Al. Josh. We, we know Darren's <laughs> over in Europe. We know uh, Jason Shaw is back in Scot Scotland. He'll be back in about a week and a half. He left yesterday. What about Wayne, Wayne Can? When's he coming back? He I, went back to China. Last I heard he went back to China. I don't about know. a month ago. Yeah. After the Rex tournament. You know, it's, it's hard, he you know, getting awesome visas. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard getting visas and, you know, going home, coming back out. It's I watched that final match. I watched his last two matches. Uh, well, in fact, I watched most of his matches. Uh, beat Jason Shaw twice. Oh, it was that Rex? Yeah. That right? Rex. Yeah, he played tremendous pool.
Well, Rafael uh, has to let a stroke out, but Lotzi's going to do everything he can to keep him in the seat. Yeah, Lotzi's not hitting the ball's bad there. You know, he's been playing in out tournaments around the tri-state area for years you know he used to play in the golden queue on mondays on a regular basis really he had the twenty. oh yeah i remember lots he sure he always shot good i'm surprised he hasn't stepped up this game you know it's hard when you play in these tournaments constantly and compete against the same people it's hard when you start getting up there and playing these a players and open players you, you know you have no choice but to step up the game so, you know, it's tough. You usually stay at the same level. You know, like you reach a plateau and you're comfortable. But if you got heat on you all the time and you well, start. Well, that's, that, that's true about some of the players uh, in this tournament. But there's others like, like Raphael. A couple, of years, Rafael, a couple of years ago, he was a B player, B plus. Now look at him. Right. He's a top-ranked A++. You know, he's, uh, he's improved his game tremendously over the last couple of years. Not hard enough. I think he wanted to come down for the side pocket, right? Or either shoot in the corner. I don't know. Uh, the way he, he reacted, it looked like he was trying to hold it for the corner. This is where you got to stay calm and just play safe. Looks like he's going to wide open bank this. Well, looks like he's trying to cut it in. No. no, he was trying to bank it. But, you know, he didn't give it away. He made it tough. Okay, Eric's going to go, folks. Thanks, Eric, for sitting in, and we look forward to uh, more commentary from you. Thank you. All right, as Eric steps out of the booth, we're still in the match. Score is 4 to nothing in favor of the gentleman in his seat. This is Rafael De Bueno, the one that's losing 4 to nothing. He's got to come with his game because uh, it's only a race to 7, and he overcut that. He's going to let Lotsi back at the table. Now, whether he leaves him a shot or not, and this, this was a makeable shot into the corner, but whether he left him a shot or not, still lots, he's up at the table, and you just can't do that. Okay, your score is now five to nothing in favor of Lotzi. We're racing to seven. You're watching the Tony Robles Predator Pro-Am Tour. We're coming to you live from Q Bar Billiards Lounge in Bayside, Queens, New York. What a beautiful room this is. Just to give you a quick view as Lotzi is racking the balls. That's the room right there, just part of it. As we get back to the action, Five nothing. And somebody in the chat is asking upstate a question in the booth. Is Snooky here? No, Snooky uh, is not here. I don't know if she'll be here tomorrow. I know Earl Strickland will be here tomorrow. Earl, I spoke to Earl last night. I happened to stop by Steinway. And Earl told me he will be here. And I also spoke to Mr. Ross, and uh, we're hoping he makes it here, too. He's a little feeling a little under the weather. We wish him the best, but hopefully we will see him tomorrow. Kings of Vapor is on scene and playing. Chad is actually playing in the tournament.
half the field is sold out in the Ginky Memorial Tournament already. That's going to take place May 24th through the 26th. So if you're a pool player and you want to play in the Ginky Memorial, they just made the announcement that half the field is sold out already. You can go to the PredatorProAmTour.com website. And all the contact numbers for Tony Robles are there. Or if you plan on playing in one of the events real soon, you might be able to get in because they're accepting entries for the Ginky Memorial at this tournament and tournaments that were prior to this. So get on board and uh, get your spot. Don't get closed out. It's going to be a great event. The 24th through the 26th. All right, Lotsy just has to make the six ball. Go straight up table for the seven in the side pocket. This time he hits the cue ball with good speed. Oh, I hope he's not that straight. It looks like he might be able to roll it. Except the shot on the eight. You know, keep in mind, uh, Lotsy got two games on the wire, and he leads here five to nothing. Going to seven as he approaches the nine ball for the hill. Okay, Lotsi now on the hill. Six, nothing over Rafael de Bueno. I'm upstate now, I'm flying solo for now until we get some guest commentators coming in on the arms are wide open. There's the sound. Tony Robles, Predator Pro-Am Tour. Affiliated, of course, with his league, the NAPL. Make sure to go over and check out the NAPL. We, but we got to get back to the action because Lassi doesn't want to wait. He wants to stay in gear. Breaks him good. Not only breaks him good, but the cue ball is trapped up behind the 8-5. Rafael is going to take a break or take his break. So as he does that, let's switch around to another table so at least we can sweat some action here.
Okay, it appears that Rafael the Guayo has come back from his break, so let's get back to the action. There you go. Once again, Raphael leaving Lotzi the table at hand and Lotzi on the hill. Oh, he's going to fight his way through for the position and he gets there. Now he's got a couple options. He can spin out sharp out of the bottom right hand corner and elect to shoot the four in the upper right hand corner, which is probably going to be his shot. Looks like he's going right out of the corner. shoot it in the same corner he's got to fight for position he's gonna maybe have a little piece if he has anything in the four he might have a little piece of it go all the way around table and try to get behind the six and plays up and down going to leave a long distance. Here you come to the table if you're Raphael and you're faced with this long shot on the four and you're down six nothing. Gonna mass say this just to hit the four. He doesn't want to leave a shot. The four might go up where the six is. Just enough. Raphael can see it. And not only can he see it, he can stick the cue ball right there behind the six and move the four up table. On table number 14, Mike is the zero five five. Just like Mike that, playing a good save.
All right, Raphael, he's got a shot either in the side pocket. He can slow roll it, just like that. And now, at least, put a game up on the board. He's in the commanding position to do so, but can he get there? That's the other question. He's been missing a lot of crucial balls when it starts getting down to the nine. He missed the seven ball. Just watching right now, it's Lotsy's on the hill, six nothing. Okay, Raphael has one up on the board. Six to one now. It's only a race to seven. Lotzi got two games on the wire. Keep that in mind. And the way Raphael is shooting, I mean, missed a couple of balls in the match, but he's capable of running a two or three pack, so we're not going to look for Raphael just to go out with one game on the wire. From my point of view, he can make this one ball. Or he might have to spin it just a little bit, but it's makeable. I'm looking right down at the shot. He might not even have to spin it. But of course, you got to remember that there's other pockets on this table besides the one you're going for. They've been there since the beginning of the invention of this game. And for some reason, we take our mind off it. And that's what happened. He's going to get trapped up behind the five at this point. He's overran it. Fish's name being called. She's also playing in the event. Not only is she playing in the event, but she's covering it for NYC Grind, doing all the work behind the scenes. On table 13, Lisa Menace and Dave David, even on IC7, table number 13. Good kick by Raphael. Lotsy's got to play smart here. Don't get aggressive. Play the safe. He, he can actually bank the one up table and play the cue ball behind the seven if he wants. Instead of going this way, but he's going to elect to just feather the three, it looks like. And try to hide behind the five, six area. He's got to feather it. You don't want to leave a shot into the corner. Oh, he's left vision at the three ball, but I don't think Raphael's going to get aggressive and either try to cut this. I, I believe he's going to play safe. He's going to play a speed shot and just leave the three on the left hand long rail. And it doesn't look it worked. It didn't work out for him either. He's left a shot into the side pocket for Lotsi.
I stopped by Steinway uh, last night before I went uh, to sleep, and uh, Earl Strickland told me he will be here. Jeremy Sosi, I believe, is up in Albany playing in the Golden Q. Lotsy had a chance to put this match to sleep and missed that nine ball. Uh, this is a tester. You're down 6 1, and this is the shot you face with. This is a real tester from here. And Raphael knocks it down with no problem. All right. Lotsy couldn't put it to sleep, so it's six to two. We're only going to seven. Raphael picked up the speed a little bit on that break. Again, nothing falls, but a shot on the one is not there for Lotsi. I don't know if he can escape with a Massé around the four and play rail first for the one. If he can, it's, it's a nice shot because the two ball is in the wide open. He's pushing out. No, he might be playing rail first. Kicking at it. <laughs> Raphael miscued. On that one ball. We're testing all the cushions on this table right now. I can tell you that much. Players making a lot of mistakes in this match. But Lotzi from here is the favorite. I mean, he's on the hill. When you have a player like Raphael missing shots like that, you better start taking advantage of it. Because if he, you light his fuse and he sees that you can't make a ball, he's and you get him in gear, he, he can take this match away. Lotzi's got to pick it up.
Okay, the score is still six to two in favor of Lotzi, who just missed a crucial eight ball to close this match out once again. He missed a nine ball in the game prior to this. Watch the side pocket, boy, that angle on that side pocket sometimes just goes. Makeable eight ball, spin out of the corner, get perfect for the nine. Just concentrate on making this eight. You had to spin out of the corner a lot more than that, but still a makeable nine ball. Two nine balls that Lotsey missed in this set. And Rafael will take that. Now six to three. Both players not shooting as well as they're supposed to be playing, that's for sure, but you know, Rafael is still in this. Okay, six to three, Raphael set to break in game 10. Double Dave in the wings, just come off one of his matches. And the way he looks with that smile, he won it. He didn't win it. He lost his first match. Okay, Raphael breaks in game 10 as we're having the world-renowned Devil Dave step in the booth. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is a great tournament. Lost my first one, but I'm still very, very dangerous because I'm still in it, and I'm still enjoying myself in this wonderful pool room. Great tournament, full field, and here we go on the one. Can you believe it? Six to three, and Lotsy can't close this set out. Wow. He had two opportunities to do it. Did he, Al? Okay. All right. But wow. you know what? He's playing against Raphael, who's really not. Raphael is here, but he's not here. His game didn't show up. Okay. It happens. Yeah, my mind didn't show up also. Uh, spun a lot of balls out of the pocket. I made him in the pocket, Al, and had English on him, and it popped right out. A little surprised, but, you know, you got to adjust to all types of, of, uh, of equipment, and I just didn't. And it's errors like this. Right. Sure, sure. His wider score was six to nothing from the gate. Oh my God, six to nothing. I didn't realize that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I just stepped in. Well, we now Devil Dave. Okay, it was six to nothing from the gate. Didn't realize. Jeez, uh, I still like this fellow. Like Al said, if he can close it out, well, let, let's see. Tables are playing quite fast, ladies and gentlemen, very fast. All righty, good safety. Marty Herman saying hi to Devil Dave in the chat. Oh, hi, Marty. Dear, dear friend of Devil Dave for many years. We love Marty and a great, great player in his day. Hi, Marty. Look Boy, got a little lucky here, Al. Got a little lucky. Okay, it happens. And this is the luck factor of nine ball. Raphael's going to have a hard time hitting this ball out. Well, I got news for you. This is this ball might determine his fate. Right. All right. Good. Good hit. Good hit. Well, he come out of it. Wow. Shining oh. colors. <laughs> that's and that's the luck factor of this game, ladies and gentlemen. You know, for all you young aspiring players, you can play very well, but if the luck factor is not there, you cannot win your matches. So you gotta hope both things come together. Good safety here. Trying to come behind that eight.
Raphael trying to come behind the six. Very wide, like Al said, his game isn't showing. He usually welds you behind that ball. Well, it's the speed. You, yes. You said it yourself. Um, that the speed of the table is uh, playing fast. It's the speed of the table that are getting the player, huh? Right, the speed. I was very fast. It, it's throwing all of us off, and that's why it's a little been a little tough here today on this equipment. But, you know, it's fast for everybody, and you just got to adjust. Hey, Richie Runrax. Pop, you want to shine him up a little bit? And Get Richie up on the stream with us. Very, very nice safety. I don't know if he could see a little pain on this ball. He may. We'll see. Very close. He can make it. Okay. From, from this right. point of view, it looks like he All can right. make it. All right. I'm just told from my road partner of 30 years and best friend upstate Al, who has a better angle, he can make it. Okay. Wow. All righty. Now, that's the kind of errors that Raphael has been doing. Wow. Things wow. like that. Right, right. And, gee, this fellow has some opportunity here. Uh, holy cow. Well, Lotsy's not a bad player. I right. don't know if he gets the apple in his throat when he reaches the last three balls of, you know, two right. balls on the table. Sure, sure. But, you know, he's, yeah. I remember him shooting pretty well. Yeah, he's a Look wonderful, wow, well, there it is. I mean, this should be it here. He needs to take his time here, not take this for granted. You don't want to jam this ball now. It's just a light, light to medium speed. You don't want to jam it, and this should be it. Has a very, very good opportunity. Well, not the easiest combination on the nine ball, but. You know, sooner or later, the way he keeps playing and missing these crucial balls, and that wasn't the easiest combination. And Raphael climbing back one game at a time. You know, he wins this one. It's now six to four if he can get out here and him breaking, you know, which is huge. Yeah, this is the key shot here. If he can make this ball, uh, the other three are just absolute hangers. And he did make it. Yeah, he's made it, but can he slow roll the seven and hold shape? Yeah, the eight? I, he, right. I don't know if he can hold that angle. And if you, not, he'll have to come back and forth. Right. You need an angle off the eight to get across to the other side of the table for the nine, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. That'll get him at least down to the middle of the table. He's got to punch it in a little bit. Right. Raphael. to four now.
Okay, six to four. Sorry about that, folks. Six to four and the wing ball for Raphael falls right in the hole. This goes back to the, what I was saying before. You know, he, if he's crawling back one game at a time, you know, and it's six to four now, and him breaking now, he's got a chance to go six five, and him still breaking. Absolutely, and Al, I'd like him to put this ball behind this four ball. If he doesn't put it behind the four ball, I'm sorry, he's not thinking too clearly, because it's a very easy duck behind the four, and it looks like he's going to go to the other side and not put him behind the four and try and get him behind the three, which is okay. Which is good, perfect, good shot, good shot. Good try, tough hit. Now, uh, Raphael, ball in hand, he needs to settle down here and make sure he gets out this rack and he'll claw his way back to one game. Well hit, good, good position, good shape. He's fine here. Don't see any balls in trouble. Team number 12, Chad Bowling and Lionel Swanson. Chad, you get Lionel one on seven. Team number 12. Needs to maintain angle. Middle of the table is fine. Team number 17, Michael Farley. Just like Ryan that, because he has to get Ryan on the other side of the six there. You know, you give it of a player. You know, Raphael had to give Lotsey two games on the wire in this game. You give a player like this the taste of blood where he feels like he can get closer and reach the hill. Sure. That can spark something inside him and say, sure. you know what, let me start picking up my game in a little more focus. And, you know, maybe yeah. he starts to figure out what he's been doing wrong. Exactly. You know, you got to adjust to these tables. Oh, absolutely. As quick as possible. Yeah. Tables are very, very difficult, very fast. Well, you know, a lot of people yeah. got here at 10 o'clock in the morning. Right. They had opportunities to practice. If they didn't get up yeah. there and hit balls, then shame on them. That's right. You know? Exactly right. Good point. Good point. That's right. That's right. But, you know, giving Raphael a taste of blood, letting him know uh, that I miss a couple of crucial shots you know, as, his, as his opponent. Absolutely. And open up a door for you to walk sure. through it. You're going to walk through it powerfully, right. you know. And with the sinking of this ball, Al. Yeah, well, this is how it's going to go. That's right. And, and you know, it, it, the tide sort of changed. Raphael settling in a little bit. Lotsy sure. Lotsy missed a few balls. Raphael missed a few himself. And it was one six to nothing. But now we're wow. looking at six to five. Yeah, wow. This this could be like one of the first matches that we started live streaming and broadcasting with it, doing commentary. Sure. That might go hill-hill from yeah. the opening gate. Yeah. And that's why, you know, for you young aspiring players, it's never over till it's over. Now, Raphael, who, hang in, who hung in there, clawed his way back one game at a time from 6 nothing. Now it's 6-5. It's anybody's match from here. That's why you never give up, ladies and gentlemen, for you young aspiring players. You never give up because just as fast as somebody can get on top of you, 6 nothing, you can come back. And here's the perfect example. So you must never give up. One ball flew into the side pocket. And look at this, the three rolls right into position. <laughs> yeah. And Raphael could have possibly had a 2-9 combination to make this a hill-hill. Wow. And we love to see hill-hill matches. We don't want to see anybody get destroyed. It's, it's wonderful to see a hill-hill match. And he's got to play a good shootout or maybe jump the ball. I don't know how good is his jumping abilities now. I don't know. Well, it's, you know, it's a possible jump, but it's a far jump. Yes. And you don't want to, you know, 
jump and fly off the table and give right. your opponent ball in hand. So right. He can roll out, you know, yes. roll out to a closer jump. How about this? That's it. I like that idea. Very good. I like it now. Now it's much, much better. I much still, makeable. I, I, yeah, to be honest with you, I still don't like jumping this and having the possibility of the cue ball going off the table. Right. It's a wide open table. Sure. Lotsy turns around and says, go ahead and go for it. And Mavriel is getting his jump cue out. Sure. Uh, because should he hang it, should he hang it or make a bad hit? This fellow has another pretty much of a hang. And here we go. Air Raphael de Braille. I look for Raphael to come very close on this ball. Raphael is a good jumper. I look for him to come very close on this. Well, it was a clean hit. You know, yes. came out okay, too. Right. Sure. Wonderful leap. Wonderful leap. Bottom half of this two ball come around, send the cue ball up table and leave the two right by the six. Right. Or maybe behind the nine or the seven. Behind the nine or the seven, he's trying. And boy, he made out good there. Uh, holy cow. What a nice shot. Holy cow, Phil Rizzuto. <laughs> yes, holy cow. What a nice shot. Raphael has a, has a uh, tough hit here. Well, not a tough hit. He can hit it off the bottom rail, that's for sure. But a tough hit to play a good safety is what I'm saying. The problem is he's going to hit this ball off the bottom rail, but he doesn't know where Whitey is going to go, and, and that's a tough situation here. Oh, he didn't hit it. Oh, I'm so surprised. He went to try and play a safety, which is very difficult to do, because if he just played to hit the ball, he would have easily hit the ball and not given up ball in hand. Now this fella has destiny in his own hands. He's on the hill. He just needs to stay, stay focused and get out here. Nicely hit, too. Has a very, very easy three ball. I would just stop right here like that. Pump the four in the side. A little follow. Dead five ball. Just has to stay focused and get out here. Hit very, very well. The room to come out. Two angles, right bottom corner, spinning behind the six ball with the bridge. This is low right English for you young aspiring players. Spinning out of the right bottom corner, right behind the six, like such. You might overran it. Tiny bit. Left, left a little bit of a tester here. Now this is the game and match ball right here. He needs to concentrate on making this. He can get natural position. Yeah, he's got, he, well, he's got to go one, two rails and back out. Right, right towards the seven, right. He's got to control his speed. He don't right. want to wind up on the wrong side of the seven and make right. it more difficult. This is match ball. Just needs to concentrate on making this like such. Well, he's got to come out now to right. the middle. Right, right. Or else he winds up like this. Wow. And now, Al, he needs to hit this eight ball, otherwise he's going to pass it. Right. Spin the cue. Right. You want to touch the eight towards the pocket. I don't know if he can. I don't know how much of the seven yeah. ball he's got to take with him. I don't know. He's got to try to drag the cue ball towards the eight. Right. Oh, Make and he missed the seven. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Al. Okay. Well, that's what happens when you don't adjust your speed. You got to say, wait a minute, I'm going one, two and a half rails to come back out. Right. And you wind up coming out a little short. Yeah. Well, you being a great billiard player, you can see that a lot of these fellows can't see that. So Raphael has a chance to go hill hill with this really exciting set. 
looks like he might be attempting to either back cut this into the side or play the bank. He's got to play a smart shot. He back cuts it. Winds up perfect. Wow. Perfect. Yes. Spin, spin right back out for the nine in the same right. pocket. Or if he likes to stay there and shoot up in the other pocket, depending on how he feels, he chooses to go right up the rail. There you go. It's a long shot now for the Hill Hill. Yes. Well, what an exciting match this is, ladies and gentlemen. From 6 0 to Hill Hill. Wow. And that's the way it turns out. We're at 6 6. We're racing to 7. Keep in mind, it was 6 0. Lotsy got two games on the wire. He opens up. He wins four games. He's up on the hill. All of a sudden, he hasn't won a game since. Wow. 66th Street. We're only going to seven. Yep. Now, Lafayette's got to hope he can get back to the table here with Raphael breaking. Raphael's been switching spots. He went to the middle of the table. He went to the right side. Has he been making balls out on the he, break? He made one on the last okay. break. Right into the side pocket. Watch the side pocket. Well, this time he didn't. And this Elmo person in the chat wants to tell everybody about All-Star Invitational and Upstate Owl is gonna spread the word, the posters right there on your screen. The AccuStats, Mr. Pat Fleming himself, bringing this along with his crew. You have Shane Van Boning, Torsten Holman, Darren Appleton, and Dennis Acolo moving into town for Make It Happen. Make sure to check that out. I believe it's the 15th it starts. Yes, the 15th through the 20th. It's a pay-per-view event. And, Devil and Dave, we spread the word. Yes, absolutely. And Devil Dave will make sure he watches this on his pay-per-view. What an exciting invitation this will be, Al. Thank you, Al, for reminding me. Hey, it's a pleasure, you know what, because uh, Pat does so much for the game. Absolutely. You know, and it's a good thing we got guys like Elmo in the chat. That's right. Uh, Thank you, Elmo. Me because yes. I could lapse on many things, as you know, as he probably yeah. knows there's a lot to do behind the background when you're uh, trying to do everything with you by yourself or, you know, sure. load up programs. Sure. So thank you for that reminder. In any case, where we're at now is when Raphael or Loxley took the break, we're at the Q Bar, Restaurant Billiards Lounge. And this is a, just a quick shot of what this place looks like. That's, that's just a shot I took this morning. And I just want everybody to keep in mind the Ginky Memorial coming up May 24th through the 26th will be held at Steinway Billiards. AZB TV and NYC Grind jumping together on a co-production of this memorial event. It is halfway, if not m almost three quarters of the way sold out. If you want to play, make sure to get in touch with Tony Robles through the Predator Pro-Am Tour. It's the PredatorProAmTour.com. Yes, and boy, does Devil Dave miss his little road part in the ginky. Oh, I miss him terribly. I hope he's up there playing in that big nine ball event in the sky. We want to thank AZ Billiards, of course. And make sure to check out Kings of Vapor, kingsofvapor.com. And of course, Livestream News. If you're not a member of Livestream News on the Facebook group, you can elect to go over to live stream news on Facebook and suggest to be a member of it. We have over 6,100 members as we talk. Simonis, Simonis Cloth, the largest cloth supplier in the world. And of course, Lacasse Hybrid Cues, Lacasse Custom Cues jumping on board. Now, if you don't have access to Facebook and you have a device, you know, one of these new smartphones or a tablet or whatever you might call it, an iPad, you can always elect to go to Instagram, and you can follow live stream news on Instagram. You follow, we follow. We like to follow a lot of the people that are interested in pool and get the word out. So that's another branch off that we have been doing. 
And definitely we want to thank some of Tony's sponsors, of course, Delta 13, NYC Grind also, Master Chalk, Poisoned by Predator, Billiards Digest, and I believe he has a few more we might not have the graphics for. Gotham City Technologies, Ron Mason's the owner. Anything you want to try to save your computer because it has a virus or some kind of adware, I understand Ron can take care of that. Yes, Ron can you put Ron can put you on the planet Mars with your computer with a rocket. He's that good, ladies and gentlemen. He's the best out there. Thank you, Ron. Back in action, we're tied at six six with Hill Hill. The first is this the first stream match? Did I, did I say that? Yeah, the first stream match. Yes. Boy, I like him to chip that nine ball, try to get the cue under the nine or the eight. And he tried it. Let's see how he made out. Don't know if Raphael has the whole ball here. Can't quite tell. There we go. Thank you. Yes, he does. Ops to play a safe and plays a very, very good safety. How do you feel if you're lost? All of a sudden it's six nothing. You open up from the gate. All of wow. a sudden you look at the scoreboard and you know the guy's crawling back at you. Now you're 66. Yeah. What do you do from here? Do you put your foot on the pedal and you try to kick this at 9,000 miles an hour? Wow, you might have to because this is a and, very, And come very, up like this? Yeah, yeah. Now, he's in a very, very good position here with ball in hand. Got to settle down now and just, he, he has an opportunity to get out here, Alan. He's just got to settle down and get out. It's that simple. You got to open up the six pack right, right. here. Right. You only need one rack. Pour the fuel and stop burning. Let's get through it. Look at this. He elects to play a three rail safe and keep him behind the five ball. And how did the, he do, Al? The one Can't ball see? moving into position next to the nine. This wow. Is, this is, wow. Lotsy's on one. Lotsy's on one right now. And now he's got to take this. And this is a tough, this is a tough hit, Al. Got the three in the way. Very tough hit. He's got him pretty good. Yes, he does. Better get a judge. You're going to need bail to get out of this jail. I'll tell That's you right for sure. now. Now, do you like maybe, oh, boy, I don't, you know, this is such a tough hit, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I like maybe coming out of that right corner down towards. Two rails, Yeah, you two rails no, down. No, he's not no? hitting this two rails. Okay. Oh, I, don't, I, I don't see what else he's got, Al. You being a well, great billiards player, what do you think? Uh, I like going, well, you know what I mean? He's got to jack up over the five if he's going to try to play the short rail. Uh, he's going two rails. He's going to try to scrape the paint on the inside of the nine. Wow. And it, I, it, this is going to be a great shot if he can make it. I just can't see it happening. Oh, he's just, all right, he's separating balls, that's all. He took the nine out of the equation. Yeah. Yes. Separating balls, which isn't a bad move, because you got a very hard six over there, Ralph. You're on two. Yes. Hello. Wow. It's time to lock him up yeah. on the two ball, unless he thinks he can run out from here. Uh, Raphael has an enormous amount of confidence. I see him running out here. Guys, if you're in the area and you gotta, you want to stop by the Q bar, make sure to stop by the Q bar. It's right on Northern Boulevard in Bell. We're streaming live. We'd like to meet people at uh, our AZ beers or just hang around the chat. I actually met three people here. Very good. Yeah. Oh, I'm proud nice. of you. Good, good. Well, one guy actually came up to me and gave me two screen names that he goes by. You wow. Know, not Isn't on AZ, nice? on yeah, in yeah. the chat. Isn't that nice? Very good. Pretty cool. Okay, Raphael needs to settle down here. He's got a perfect opportunity to run out the balls here. Now he has got to he's got to nip that six or try and get behind it. Doesn't doesn't have uh, the angle I like to have to hit the six, but it is there. Got to put a hard drawer on it. Come back. Okay, you're on two, and Raphael says, let me get you on three. But wow. The, the five finds its way. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. What an incredible turn of events this is. Now, this is not called shot, called safety, so Raphael has to shoot from here. Right. It's not like Lotsy has the option now in the pro and the open division. I like, him to, I like him to thin hit this, go to the side rail and behind the nine if he can. 
I think that is a game-winning shot. If he can execute, thin, you thin hit the six now, off the rail by that first spot and behind, or second spot and behind the nine, if he has that option. Otherwise, well, the only thing wrong with that is you better, better make sure you hit it real paper thin. thin. Because so you, you don't put you, up for the side. Yeah. Yes. This is a uh, nice shot. Just touch it. Careful you don't chip it out too far. Okay. He's on two. He gave him the easy hit on two. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. You want well, to try, yeah. try to leave distance between the two balls usually is, is a good thing. Now, I don't know if Raphael's going to try and put him behind this. The seven now maybe is he, an option. He's, he's looking at it. He's yep. looking at it. Uh, if he executes, it's a game and match winning shot. I like to try and to put him behind the seven here. But you got to watch out you don't leave that six dead in front of that side in case you don't get him behind the seven because that'll be just a hanger. Keep in mind, if you're just joining us and you're signing on to the live stream, we are Hill Hill match right now between Rafael De Bueno and Lazzi, Lazio Kovacs. We call him Lazzi here around the area. Yes, Lot fine player, by the way. Yeah, he he used to play at the Golden Q on Mondays every, every yeah. Monday night. He used to play there. Very good. All right. I like Raphael to put him behind it. No, he's not going to put him behind the seven. It doesn't look like it. He's not aiming it up that way. I don't know what. I guess it's not frozen, and he's just going right into the ball, obviously. Nobody wants to move that six right. an inch away from Sure. The, at the six, at, at Hill Hill, like you said. But the this position is at lots, he's in. If he plays a real touch shot with the cue ball, he now has position to put him behind the seven. Right. That's what yeah. I love. I love the shot. I think he's got to do it because this is a match, not a game-winning shot, a match-winning shot. Definitely frozen now. He has to shoot away from it and try to get behind the seven. Ah, he, just, he opened up the door for Rafael to walk through and carry his bride. Wow. He's going to take this match away. Wow, yes, absolutely, Al. Holy cow. Wow. Folks, right after this, we're going to elect to reboot the whole system. We understand there might be some lag. We're only working with minimal bandwidth here, so we're going to reboot the whole system and reset it and come right back. It's only going to take us a couple of minutes, so right after this match, stand by as we do a reboot. Well, he hit that perfect out. Perfect. That, perfect. you know. It goes, it. it goes back to that six ball. Right. You, you got to play that six ball with good speed. Sure. And Lotsy did not. He left an open shot on the seven. And oh, I can't believe that. He missed that ball straight in the hole. Oh, my God. Well, you see, wasn't it straight, but that's the kind of way he's been playing all day long. And that's wow. why it was six nothing from the opening gate. Missing, now, missing eights like that in sevens. Wow. Now, Lafayette needs to hit the right side of the eight, skin it, and leave him distance. Yeah, don't leave the 8-9 no, wired no. as a combination. Right. Light, light, thin on that 8. Leave him distance, and he may be able to to uh, get this win out of this uh, miss by uh, Raphael. I cannot believe he missed that ball out. Wow. All right. See, he's young. He's thin. He could reach it. Thin hit. Oh, no. Hard, much harder. you got to hit that much harder. Well, it's not all that bad, oh. but now he's left it, he's left it easier safe for Rafael. Yes, now. Yeah, this is why you have to leave distance for you young aspiring players. You need to leave distance as your ally when you play that kind of safe. You need to have him way down by the other rail because now he has options. He could punch, stay right there, try to bank it, cross bank. He can do anything. Now, he's gonna, now Rafael's going to leave you distance. Boom. There's the distance. 
cue ball oh, in. Oh, I don't ball believe. In I don't believe he scratched in there. Holy cow. Holy cow. I'm seeing things here from Raphael I, I just haven't seen in a long time. Now, now Raphael unscrewed, and all of a sudden he's putting his stick back together. Oh, uh, no. Well, you know what the rules are. Uh, I don't you, know. Maybe he was just in another you, world. If you, if you unscrew, the match is over. Well, maybe he was just in, you know, upset right. with himself. Yeah, a little Looking. frustration. And after Raphael does all that work. Yeah. Yes. To come back. Wow. Lotsy takes the match after wow. all. Wow, holy in cow. In a 7-6 match. Folks, we're going to be right back. We're going to do a reboot. Please stand by. Yes, absolutely.